I'm Jane Entwistle. Um, I've always lived in the Hallowell area, uh, was more or less anyway. I was born in 1951. So my memories are really of the late 50s and the 60s um, of this, of Bolton, well, of lots of things, but the cinemas that I remember in Bolton are the Odeon was always considered the best cinema in my time. <laughs> Uh, then I think it was the capital after that, um, and there was the Lido and the Queens. I think they're the only four I remember, to be honest. Whether there were any more, so I know the the Queens was they used to call shall, shall I say they used to call it a flea pit. <laughs> I remember my mum refusing to let me go there. Um, but um, yes, it, it, it were just a big item in going out. I mean, we used to always go to the cinema on Saturday night, uh, Sunday night. Sorry. As I got into my late teens, it was Sunday night, you always got there early and saw both the films um, with an interval in between. And then we tried to leave about 20 past 10 before the pubs closed, then we could have a drink before we, we went home, because the pubs then closed at half past 10 and you couldn't get a drink. I mean, I was 18, 19 then, I was older, of course. Um, so it was sad to see them all go up gradually. But the memories I've got as well of the Odeon are, uh, well, first of all, there's Saturday morning club which were the children's for films. Um, because we've talked in different groups about Saturday afternoons, some cinemas used to do them, but it's Saturday morning, I remember. Um, and I just remember it being mayhem and crazy with children, and what a wonderful time. Can't really remember what was on, but it was children's stuff and good. And some used to be, in the audience used to be a door down the side of the screen, and the, some of it used to come in halfway through, and, I can remember just madness, to be honest, that's how I can remember it. But then as I got a bit older, um, the audience started to have groups on, pop groups as they were known then. I saw the Small Faces there, um, the Walker Brothers, um, Jimi Hendrix, who I saw, I think it was 67, 1967. And I remember the girls screaming like people have probably seen on TV about the Beatles con uh, concerts. Uh, the Beatles never came. This was Jimi Hendrix and the girls screaming and running down the side of the audience and I managed to touch him in the car and thought it was brilliant that. <laughs> so I, was, I would have been about 16 then I think, still because I stayed at school till I was 18, 19 during the A-level, so I was still at school. Um, and Cat Stevens was there but I can't remember whether I saw him or not. Small Fate, I was crazy about Small Faces um, and the Walker Brothers, like I say, were good. But there was lots of big time groups appeared at the audience and they, they were just big concerts then and it was so, they gradually faded and then different things took over. Um, but I also remember the Nevada, the skating rink, as it was when I used to go. Apparently it was something else, a cinema perhaps before. Um, but it was a skating guy I started going on Friday nights skating when I was about 14, 15, I think that was a big night out then, and, you know, just, just starting to come, well then, probably it's not the same now, but it was really exciting, but then Saturday night they had groups on as well, which again, they got big groups on, so after a while I started going on Saturday night too, um, uh, but it was, and I remember you used to get to skate in the van, then you'd go went upstairs to a, where the drinks were, I don't know, soft drinks or, or whatever, I can't really remember, I remember clomping up the stairs with the skates on, um, and like I said, the big, quite a lot of soul music was coming in then, uh, and there were a lot of soul groups on there on Saturday nights. So it's impossible to remember them all because it was just an every weekend thing, really. It was just a big thing. But just briefly going back to the cinemas, I've just a memory that's come in my mind about the Lido. I remember when the Beatles started to become famous, and the films were came out. They had um, they were having a twisting, you know, the dance, the twist when it, that came out. They were having a competition at the Lido. And I, can, I, I must have only then been about 11 or 12, I think. I can remember my friend and I practising at the top of our street against the gable wall, doing the twist. <laughs> to try, and I don't, think we had, I don't think we ended up going. We were practising, going to enter this competition, and then we never even went. I think we were frightened of going, I think. Um, so the big groups appeared, yeah, at the Odeon and at the Nevada. I also, Pink Floyd came to Rington Barn also, in, I think that was either 67 or 68. 66. 66 was it? Right, yeah. oh, I thought I was late. But well, obviously, you know. But, shall I ask, this is the story about how I went with the then boyfriend to Rivington Bar from the Hallowell area and the concert went on. I had to be in by 11. Um, and we left the concert, I think, at 
about quarter to eleven, wondering how on earth we were going to get home with no car, trying to get a lift. Uh, we got a lift to the end of the, we thumbed a lift as we were walking down from Rivington Barn. And so we said, oh yeah, we'll drop you off in Horwich. Uh, and we're going, where are you going? Going to Bolton. Oh, we're going to Bolton. All oh, right, fine. Well, that was, I was just climbing the walls then because I was going to be late. They only lived in the next street to me, so I ended up about two, five minutes late. 